October 6th, Sunday morning. Day two, heading over to that job there, the, um, the five ton furnace, five ton coil condenser and gas furnace replacement. See if I can get that done for the weekend because the kids are going to be coming back Monday morning. They want to get this job done. So, Alright, stay tuned. I'm going to remove this unit here. And um, either run up here, probably run up over here get down below this unit and then turn it into the condenser. I'm going to check it out. I got to run a new line set. The condenser is going in today. It's under that top there. All right, let me get to it. Alright guys, I got my refrigerant lines all run. What I did was, you can see this soffit here. I wanted to go in the corner over there and up, but I can't because there's all kinds of wires and stuff. And what I had to do is, this on the other side of this wall here, there was a drop ceiling. So I was able to take the drop ceiling out, cut the ferment out, get right up in, inside, inside this soffit here. Okay, I was able to drill this hole, stick this pipe up almost against the seal, almost against the roof, couple inches below the roof and then the line from upstairs came all the way over and I was able to solder a joint right up in the ceiling from the other side of this wall on a ladder the 7 8 and the 3 8 there's an elbow right up on top so that looks good, I'm gonna put this thing inside a downspout now and that's gonna cover it right up but that's what I had to do there, now I'm doing a tightness test on uh, So we'll see how it holds. And I'll show you what I got upstairs. I'll let this run for a while. There's no problems. I'll put my vacuum on it. Pull my vacuum on it. I got still a bunch of a bunch of stuff to do here. The electrician's gonna come Monday morning to uh, wire that up and wire up the other thing. It's the old line set that came through the wall here. The guy said he's just gonna bang that in with a hammer or grind that or something and put some putty on that. As you can see the line set that was all soft soldered, so that's why I'm changing it. There was a leak here. Couldn't find the leak. So put it on a nice little pad on top of that. So it's gonna work out okay. Guys, I've had it on there for about half an hour. See if I can put the light on it. It's starting to rain out here. It's had it on for 34 minutes. It's dropped like about less than half a pound. So I'm calling that good. That might be, you know, my my uh, you know, the gaskets on my my stuff might be off a little bit. I'll pull a vacuum and see how it pulls down. I don't know if you can see my, my blue holes here, but um, that gasket's all mucked up on my uh, my holes. So that's where, I, where I'm losing my pressure at. You can see it, so I need a new gasket. Let me, let me get on that and put a new one in there. Twenty-nine microns. That's good. I pulled it with my uh, five seventy and the uh, three eight line because I had plenty of time. I had other stuff to do. 
I got this in a downspout. So it just basically looks like a you know a rain gutter coming down. It covers up nice. Alright guys, I got it all picked up up here. I got the gas pipe tight in there. I just have to come back for the um the vent in the morning. The B vent. Got my refrigerant lines all tied in. And I got my dryer up here. I like to put them up in the attic if possible. <clears throat> my condensate line tied in, that little, if I ever want to check it for the vent. I got a couple of float switches here. You now the only thing about this coil I don't like is it comes off on a 45 off the bottom. I'm not a big fan of that, but it is what it is. And then I got one here inside this pan. I had this pan made. It covers the whole unit. And then some. I just got to get one, bring one more block from the house, but well, I can't cover the uh, the return and the supply until um, the inspector comes. Once he comes, I'll have to come back and bring some duck wrap and wrap this, finish this up. That's pretty much it. I'm just picking up Sunday night, probably about three o'clock on a Sunday night. Work Saturday and Sunday in this job. The only thing I have to come back on is that uh, put that B vent in there, and I just gotta go with a um, three by six increaser, and then a B vent adapter. And I'll go right inside that pipe. This thing's adjustable if I need any adjustment on it. This collar, but I think it's gonna be perfect. So I'll do that first thing Monday morning. I'll get this this adapter that goes in the end of the pipe put this back together electrician will come and we'll be ready to rock all right guys I uh, appreciate you watching and maybe I'll do another video on the startup on it I know the returns are really short I talked to the guy about it already he's got two three 12 inch returns um, flex it's not enough I need another 16 inch but I got room to tie it in I already got a spot where I'm gonna run it Oh, it is around here. Everything's, everybody cuts the returns way down. Then we got no suction pressure. So that's a problem. I gave him a price on changing the, the condensing unit, uh, the A-coil, and um, the furnace, running new refrigerant lines. As far as um, all the ductwork that's existing, that's going to be extra if i got to modify that. Alright guys, i got my little extension that I put on the uh, trailer hitch to carry the condensing unit. I got it all strapped down. I think that thing's good for like five, six hundred pounds, so I'm good with that. I'm not going that far anyway. And I got I got the rest of the job on the inside. The old stuff. So I'm all done with this job and I'm heading home. It's gonna get inspected um at the end of the week once the electrician hooks up the stuff. Then I can wrap that duck and I'll be good. And I'll talk to the homeowner um, about, you know, increasing that return size. Alright guys, thanks for watching.